fitness freaks, guess what? I just got back <laughs> one year ago. <laughs> In this video, I want to share my one year journey from when I graduated from my master's degree to this moment when you are watching this video. Welcome to the Fitness Freaks YouTube channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that we stay connected when I upload new videos. So I started my master's journey in nutrition and food science in the University of Oxford School, UK. I was in UK for about 16 months. One video won't be enough to summarize the experience. I had a part-time job where I worked alongside my studies. I was someone that was always active and liked being involved in school activities and whatever it was that was always going to make my experience awesome. Submitted my final dissertation in September 2018. My graduation was November 12th. Looking back at that one year abroad, successfully completing my program, being here today, my heart is filled with gratitude to every Every single person in my life who made the journey worthwhile. Throughout my master's journey, I had in mind that I was going to move back from UK to Nigeria at the end of my study. The big question that people always ask is that, are you coming back? And I mean like when I hear that question, I don't know, it just puts me off somehow. I don't know why, but for some reason, I just feel like... <laughs> We all don't want to run. <laughs> yes, we all don't want to run. Thank you, Jay, for that. Some people actually want to come back home, home sweet home, you know. So you don't have to put it in someone's face and ask, Are you coming back? If you see me, you see me. It's as simple as that. Yes, I'm coming back. I'm here now and I am alive and strong and kicking by the way thank you for asking one thing i want to do is to make myself happy and to do things for me and not for anybody come december 2018 after i had finished my masters i had done my graduation and i'm like okay what else again am i really waiting for when you're a student in uk working part-time is something that is really very attractive because you make money per hour trust me the way you make the money is how the money goes away if you know what i mean christmas period is usually a time where most people are looking to work as much as they can in fact work 24 hours if they could but I knew within me that what was most important to me was spending time with my family and my loved ones. There's only so much money that someone can make and so much mana that someone can put into whatever job that they are doing. I really needed to be around my family and spend the festive season with them. I remember December 2017, that was the most quiet Christmas I had ever experienced in my entire life. What else again am I really waiting for? I don't want this Christmas to be like last Christmas. I want family time. I want love. I want enjoyment. I want gisting. I want noise. I want, you know, my typical Christmas experience. What I'm used to, you know. I don't have family here. And that was when I decided that even if my visa was going to expire in January 2019, I was going to leave in December. And I booked my return ticket for December 12, 2018. And I moved back to Nigeria. This is to you if you are a student abroad and you are looking to move back to Nigeria. Do not let yourself to be pushed or pressurized into staying back if you do not want to. The truth is that to each his own whatever experience you have in life would never be the same as someone else's experience whatever values you have to add to people or to your country or to your family or to whoever will never be the same as the next person so listen to your heart and follow your heart and know that this life is an individual journey and even if you make mistakes you would always have the chance to take a step back learn from it and do something that would really make you happy and do something to correct that mistake as long as there is still life so after being faced with the question of are you coming back the next question i now faced was why did you come back and i'm like okay this is my home country i'm from here i live here why shouldn't i come back 
I'm smiling now, but honestly, these questions are not funny. There was also the challenge of getting a job and then just settling into the new system and the new environment. As much as it's home and it feels like home, being away for a year and four months or even more could actually make you get used to the, maybe the life abroad and then coming back to have to adjust takes time and takes patience. Personally, I am someone that has a saving culture and from the several jobs I worked while I was in the UK, I was able to save up some amount of money to just kind of sustain me until I got a job. I couldn't just go straight into jumping buses <laughs> when I came back. I had to take a Uber ride. Somehow you just find yourself actually spending more than a normal person just to give yourself time to adapt to the environment. What really kept me going and why maybe I wouldn't lose my sanity is just accepting things the way they are and not the way they should be this is actually like a serenity prayer that i say every day a part of it is help me accept things the way they are and not how they should be because when you find that you're always trying to say oh this thing should be like this and not like this you just tend to like stress the small stuff and you tend to stress things that are really out of your control so what is the point of stressing over something that is out of your control just accept it the way it is and move on from there so that you just have your sanity you have your serenity and you have peace of mind and you're able to focus on what is most important to you work to develop yourself and to get better and to add value when you actually can add value so for me I just knew that as long as I am doing the activities that can lead to me getting a job like researching opportunities applying to several jobs attending several interviews working towards my personal development and just really push until I land the kind of job that I want. I knew that I would be fine as long as I did all this. Knowing the kind of industry I wanted to get into, the FMCG industry, fast moving consumer goods industry, with my master's degree in nutritional food science, it wouldn't really be a challenge if I put myself out there. And as God would do it, because I don't even take glory for this at all, I was contacted by a LinkedIn connection and then I sent my CV over and then we fixed an interview and I went for the interview and bam, I landed the job in February. And I was like, oh wow, it's a miracle. I was so grateful and so happy about it. Trust me guys, sometimes all you need is just that self-confidence and self-belief that you are going to be okay no matter what so after i got the job in february and i resumed work in march i have been working on this job that i really really enjoy it has just been a very good experience i don't know many people that can actually say that they enjoy the job that they are doing i'm thankful that god actually just you know selected me and said would you this is what you love or yeah come and do it and then i have been working at the same time running my youtube channel somehow i've been able to just manage it all later in march i think march 31st precisely <laughs> my boo put a ring on it he put a ring on it even while i was away we were able to sustain the relationship despite the distance and coming back is like okay baby i want us to take this to the next step so thank you so much for asking me boo i'll say yes over and over and over and over and over so i'll leave you with this guys always follow your heart and know that life is full of challenges no life is perfect so do what makes you happy and take responsibility for the outcome because no one is going to love you the way you do i've been your favorite fitness girl on this channel just doing what i do best and giving you the best content helping to inspire you and helping to motivate you so that we can be the best versions of ourselves if you got value from this video don't forget to smash the like button i'll see you in next week's video where we'll be celebrating our one year anniversary on this channel Woo! bye fitness freaks one year after my graduation. I hope I've been able to. <gasps> ah, <no. laughs>